Today we'll look at the touchscreen support of FTL, Faster Than Light. As you can see, I've already played 82 hours. Let's see how it works without a keyboard and mouse. Hmm, already you need to double click to get through some things. Hmm, let me choose the Taurus. Ah! So first you need to double tap to make the arrow work. Then when you move somewhere else, it presses it again. That's our first problem. There we go, we'll choose this stealth ship. Okay, let's go. We'll move our energy guy into the weapons room. Ah. How to get him into the weapons room. Okay, we don't seem to be able to move people on the ship. We can open doors. How can we change our power levels? Here's our second problem. We aren't able to change the power levels, it seems. Ah, there we go. Furious tapping adds power. How to take it away? Well, at least we can jump. So we can jump, but we can't move the crew, and we can't change the power levels. Let's try using our Windows 8 keyboard. Shift plus H. Shift plus H. Well, our cloak flashes when we do it, but it doesn't seem to remove the power. Shift H seems to be the same as H using the Windows 8 keyboard, so that's not a perfect solution. Just choose people, you need the function keys. There are no function keys in the Windows 8 keyboard. We'll reach under and press escape. Use our touchpad. And what we can do is we can customize the controls. If we change all the select crew to just the numbers and then depower shields, we'll try S. So maybe now we can control the crew and depower the systems. Let's try one more time. We'll bring up our Windows 8 keyboard. We'll select number one, 
select number two, select number three. We can select the crew. And a long press lets them move. Let's choose crewman number two. And we can move him. Our other problem was removing power from systems. But we've modified the controls. Pressing E depowers the engines. Tapping them brings it back. We've got our modified controls. Let's try combat. Okay, I need to bring my weapon online. Let's depower the cloaking, which I've set to B. There we go. And now we have enough power to activate our weapon. Let's depower the engines and put some power into cloaking. Ah, our beam weapon wants us to fire it first. There we go, not too bad. We've got some more power onto our cloaking device. Let's cloak. Our weapon's almost powered up. There we go. That worked okay. Let's accept their offer. Success! So, we can play FTL. Unfortunately, you will probably need a 1080p screen so you can fit FTL in a window and Windows 8 keyboard. You will still have problems seeing your weapons and the exact power levels here, but it will be easy enough to pause so to get FTL working we need to reconfigure the controls so we can select the crew using the Windows 8 keyboard we need to reconfigure the controls so we can depower the system using the keys on the Windows 8 keyboard. And if we want to move the crew, we need to select them using the Windows 8 keyboard. And then long press where we want them to go. So FTL does work. You need to reconfigure the controls. Use the Windows 8 on screen keyboard and you'll probably need a 1080p screen. So if your screen is a lower resolution, probably the keyboard will cover up too much of the window. So we'll give FTL 6 out of 10 overall. It does work, but it's not perfect.